Hi guys, Elisar here. Today we're gonna look how to uh, basically eco tech and uh, go to the LaTeX, uh, as like my discoveries on that. So let's just hop in. I'm gonna open with hybrid build. I want this to be a little bit shorter video so you could see. I open with 3 mechs since the idea is to go first solar and we're gonna do what's called like a hybrid build. So get wind and basically get advanced solar as early using the resbot. So uh, if you take three, uh, a little stall isn't that bad, after that you get wind to get to preferably around 60, uh, when it's on the 60 you can get the lab. So once I finish this, I'll plop down the lab, finish this and go back. If you don't know, you can prioritize things with space, really, really useful in order to not break the queue, so I place the lab with the space. Alright, let's see what's happening, so more windmills. Going to 100, now we can boost the bot out, so Razor will go take eat this metal. Um, getting the bot out, and that's what we need. And we will have a little energy float, but that's alright, so let's boost uh, the first advanced solar right now. Uh, wind is really, really good. Uh, generally, if the wind is low, uh, maybe build a couple more windmills, but I wouldn't go more than 8, I think 8 is on average. Uh, will reflect one advanced solar. After this, if the energy is good, always get a nano before the second power and eat the lab. This is chilling since we have too much energy. Yeah, actually, I think here I made a mistake. You want to go one, 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 one. So before this, you wanted to get nano uh, before that. But you know, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna talk more about the like also the late game. After here, uh, we'll make uh, six because you kind of need to chill right now and there's nothing else to do. Preferably, I like to blow my comb a little bit later. I think it gives more income so you can afford like freakers, you could afford maybe a second bot for advanced decking. Uh, on some maps, it's sometimes better to wait till the blow, especially where you get a little bit more mechs so you could get like a second tier two out if you need. Uh, or rather mixes, so don't, even though I could technically blow now, uh, 20 seconds is like uh, 40 metal more, and uh, in the end it, 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 it adds up. Also you get 25 energy income, which is really nice, so that also contributes to some metal income. Uh, around 440 I usually blow, uh, can't be really asked. So the setup is basically same as with four advanced solars. This is one advanced solar, as you can see. it's pretty similar, 8 windmills, on average the wind is going to be like 11 something, so it's pretty good. I like to go, uh, this was a mistake, uh, generally before mixes I'd like to make something like uh, 5 advanced and 3 nano before I even place the first mix, because the build power gain is better. Uh, sometimes if you need to give your team uh, stuff then uh, it might be not be cool. Here I reclaimed bot and both the res bot. The idea is that uh, I can exchange the bot for a freaker, uh, for the extra metal, right? And with the freaker I can rebuild the bot. So I have a bot ready and you could also transition to maybe pyros. So we quickly eat the lab, uh, remake the bot since now we can afford it. And we're gonna grab ourselves one more power. Here we stall a little bit, but ain't nothing too big. Yeah, place to come. Uh, you can, with the 5-3 setup, what I call like 5 advanced 3 nanos, or let's just count wind advanced, you can kind of chill. Uh, and I think Freaker, uh, Twitcher is as mo almost as good as 1 nano, right? So you don't need a uh, 3rd nano if you're getting uh, Twitcher. When going for uh, fusion, you usually uh, need three nanos, technically uh, I mean four nanos, but uh, I think this na nano was a mistake, you should just, uh, because I will stall energy wise, like I, I spend a little bit more, I might have skipped that nano, but uh, it will come handy. Here's a small trick, you can do this early as well, yeah, I make this in order to blow it up, if you place two, you can like blow whole stack and eat immediately, I think it's more time, like 1000 energy is cheap and building it faster, is, building this is faster than reclaiming all of them. So once the fusion we get low on metal, um, 
and we start floating energy I'll just blow this up and uh, you know eat a couple of those right uh, they will auto repair so it's not uh, that great but um, yeah here I go with the style of 8-1 you can either get 2 uh, I think having tier 1s and then tier 2 is uh, fine I made a move here to get a second fusion just for checking it out I think second fusion on if you're actually fighting second fusion is pretty alright although you delay your Aphis but you know if the coast fleet seems clear then uh, you probably could go for straight Aphis because otherwise your Aphis is going to be delayed but straight fusion will be good it's especially good if you can like for example you could give your teammates um, it and it just uh, will give you some metal right so the metal efficiency will be lower but for like up to 20 minute mark your eco is going to be uh, in a good shape and you can also float the extra energy to your teammates so it's just uh, a really fast way to get it up um, once again I'll over make nanos a little bit earlier on so I'm gonna grab three I think it's about fine uh, these ratios are just like really <laughs> based on intuition uh, I d don't do with this build often generally you want around nine nanos to if you want to go from fusion into Aphis straight away as you can see um, spending usually you need to look here Spending's pretty alright. I eat the bot again just to have some extra metal since those nanos don't work. Uh, I think the nine was still fine actually uh, with the second fusion since we actually don't have metal. I figured if my income is going to be higher, I could afford the tenth nano, but we also have this, so maybe even eight nanos would be fine. So I just uh, use these to reclaim uh, the these in the meanwhile they have nothing to do otherwise you could also eat the nano sometimes but it's a bad idea in general to spend the build power uh, like that you should just figure it out and adjust it to the next time right so where the Elphus is building I'm gonna speed it up a little bit to the four and um, gonna remake the bot here I'm gonna prepare I move my bot away to be uh, ready to place the these uh, once you can also make the queue and wait and once you see like 99 percent you can uh, you can just toggle it back here I'm gonna start to make a cube I think the design is pretty important you need to have a like a pathway so you need to figure out like how, how will you move uh, in the space uh, that's if you're a beginner that's a pretty hard thing to figure out on how to set up your base like well uh, some people just have a general <laughs> sense they make their bases really cute even if they lack some ideas for me it was pretty hard but uh, uh, there are some lazy outputs right and this is like the full teching right so you're uh, kind of spending all your time on it there's no there's no real laziness uh, if this came out like 40 minutes so it ain't bad uh, you should generally be able to hit like I think at least four Aphis be between before 20 minute mark I think you can go up to five maybe six uh, I don't recall so yep here I move I'm gonna make usually four more even you need six so there I space it again you can see the nano as well just follow the order you can stack space orders uh, and the important thing is always to watch these numbers make sure that your bank goes down so take a look uh, I think these might be a little bit too much although looks like they're all right there Alright, so let's maybe skip ahead and let's look at the end game after like third or second. Uh, there's a lot of stuff actually going on. So I made like a couple of metal, eat the metal, um, 
made the tier 2, made the big storage, make more nanos, adjust on aphesis, so 20 minutes in. We're not doing it that hot actually with only 3 aphesis there. But we have a tier 2 planes and that will help us to uh, move things a little bit faster in the long run. Also floating a lot of metal so more nanos were needed. Okay, so general idea, if uh, I like block strategy, usually by threes, uh, and uh, then you make a stack there and around, and if you want you can do it on the side, so you can do separately as I will show. So a lot of reclaiming. Uh, if your energy is kind of high, like in this sense, you should focus down these uh, L extractors, so 23 minutes in, we're at like 250 income. Generally it gets hard around like 500 income definitely, so you need to add more nanos and make sure that most of your nanos work and everything's queued up nice in a bunch. Alright, so you can use the spacing is really important especially with the planes at some point like after 300 metal income you definitely need um, uh, flying constructors right so after <laughs> like nine aphases it's uh, gonna get a little bit tough to scale so make e storage so we can track it a little bit better add more and more of those Alright, and here we're gonna start to make another stack, even though we lack my money. Here I use block remove to just, you know, clear spacing. As you can see, that's pretty well. We can put the metal converters there. We're gonna make a couple more stacks of these. Uh, nanos, construction bots, as you can see, is around 500 metal income per second. It starts to get really, even old, although, like, there's uh, a bunch of nanos working, right? So, yeah. almost uh, like 130 nanos are working, but still barely, barely spending everything, right? So, so you need to start to make more flying constructors, uh, or just you know, float to the team. Here, I'm gonna make my. Uh, I like to do the cube of six in order to make the really big block of uh, emphasis. So that's like preparing for the late game because we need to spend, right? As you can see, the maybe this is from like eating stuff, but we're approaching like thousand metal income, and <laughs> this bar is just going up, right? So the metal produced is pretty insane. So on the top, I make the preparing blocks for the metal converters. Right, I messed up with this nano. I'm gonna fix it. More of these. So this is one design you can kind of copy if you want a little bit of spacing. I don't know if they blow. They probably all blow. Then we make another block with a six. Space out the first six, then another six, and yeah. All right, and uh, as you can see, this is uh, kind of a layout I really like. We're gonna expand that in order to have like 25 emphasis. So what you do is you build around uh, the nanos and then you eat the middle essentially. It's pretty uh, pretty easy. Here I realize I really need a <laughs> metal converter so I'm like starting to excess a lot of energy. I just uh, start to make metal because it's kind of hard to spend at this point uh, like a thousand metal so here you would uh, in the regular game uh, you would go uh, to make you could I think uh, this is almost a boost boosted juggernaut is like 1.5 uh, like one experimental lab with full um, 
pool setting. Alright, so you can duplicate these. This is one way to scale, but you know, have to find the space and uh, be really precise. Not easy things. To make more aphases. It might be easier to do like in the general block, but uh, I'm experimenting with different layouts. See what's what. Maybe just dragging is a little bit easier. Alright, this might be a little bit too fast, so let me just uh, maybe go out. So as you see, you eat the middle, and these uh, can build them essentially the middle. Here I also wanted to build, but I need the middle maker, so I quickly deployed that. I like similar style for these. I think this was pretty good uh, layout, so you could do this like here. I find that it's pretty good ratios. And yeah, that was uh, 75 aphases uh, reached the end. So yeah, so that's in short uh, how, how you can quickly scale eco. Thanks. Bye-bye.